weapons, and I can handle those. But when I when I have to like think about disguises beforehand, and I have to strategize about where I'm gonna go, I usually mess up. So it's better for me to just run into the battle. I can try and take a second chance. I think way too much about spy, and then and then my my technical skills as spy are just so so. Because backstabbing and and getting headshots with the ambassador are uh, they're just mechanical skills. You can you can get better at them by practice, and that's it. But it, but to think as spy. You can get practice. better at that too. You can get better at it that. It takes too. it takes a deceptive mind that's willing to be a nasty <laughs> prick to people and 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 trick them into doing things. Like to, to, to get to get a medic to Uber you. Do you know the just the horror the medic experiences after Ubering a spy? You willingly did that to that medic. Great job, you asshole. <laughs> That's what it is to be spy. How do you see that night? Well, and with many attractive ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, final got, round. You, you this got, is you got all the ladies. It's midnight crew on a, on attack. And um if we cap this fast. Aw, uh, I could have gotten that ambassador kill. But anyway, if we if we cap this fast, we can win. If we cap it slow, we can also still win if we're good on defense. But this is a tiebreaker round. That is obviously so obviously a spy. Spies don't ever disguise as pyro. Just stop disguising as pyro altogether. It's so obvious. Because pyros it, are expected to be popping all over the place for spy checking. Well, not. It's not just that, but it's it's the go-to. And then he gets me anyway because I'm failing. Actually, actually, I'm not doing that terribly this game. I get some good stabs. But pyro is just so obvious. It, 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 it gets to the point where people spy check pyros even when they're even when they're not spies even when they're not acting obvious because it's just like it could be a spy spies disguise as pyros all the time spies disguise as spies all the time too you know, spies are very disguised yeah but they disguise as spies in the wrong spots I usually I'm disguise telling you, man. demo man or medic I'm telling you you seem to do NGO um, NG and Demo are my favorite, um, because Demo is just barely slower than average speed. Yeah, and people don't suspect Demo because no one usually does that. And Demo's a good heavy class to, um, full medics with too. Um, so I go with NG, Demo, rarely Sniper, because Snipers, if you're not looking down your scope, you're fairly obvious. Snipers. And not only that, Sni but if you're if you're on the front line and you don't have the huntsman, then people know you're not there's, a sniper. Uh, there's like a glitch where you can't disguise with the huntsman. You can sometimes, so, but usually. Usually I can't. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I know, yeah, it's just don't, if there's a huntsman sniper, don't take the chance. Um, because Bye, if you can't, if you can't, if you, if you have the sniper rifle and it's a person using huntsman and their team knows that they're using huntsman, it's such an obvious This is it, this is it, this is it. You can do this. Oh no, you went for the heavy, you should come for the medic. No, it's too late. Yeah, to that was a case of me flailing about. Yeah, yeah I prefer an MG demo. Sniper for passing through sniper areas. Um, I I never use scout, but um, Badoof uses scout sometimes. And I've used, it, I've actually, got, I've, it actually fooled me because it operates under the same principle as soldier and heavy disguises, in that you just don't expect spies to use that. Which is was why it soldier and I, heavy and scout can be extremely useful. Yeah. Was it you that I pulled the scout the other day with the eternal ward on Bird? Perhaps. I don't know. I, th I think it was. I, think it was I got the heavy before I got blowed up, so that's good. That was good. Um, if you're a scout, I guess my only suggestion is to just jump around like a maniac. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. It was like, um, I think Bob and someone else and someone else were on the final point of Five Gorge, and I was disguised as scout because I had scattered one with the air. And I, I hop on the point, and they totally believed me, and I got two of them, and then I stepped off it for a second, the last guy capped it before I stabbed him, so... Yep. I didn't, I didn't win. And, well, the, the Eternal Ward can be so... That's why... I don't think I ever completed this thought, but that's why I do not think the Eternal Ward is a bad knife, even though it gets rid Great. of the disguises. Uh, the disguise at will. Um, because the silent makes... killing is... Is yeah. just, um, just completely invaluable. I, yeah, I can't tell you how many quite, times. Look it's at still this. Quite... Oh my gosh. Oh. Saved you, Homo. 
still quite intellectual though, because it makes you improvise. It forces you to improvise with your dad. Yep, yep. It's not a, it is not a bad knife at all. Nope. And it makes you, and it, it, it does not, it does not mean that you can't be a convincing spy. You just have to be able to improvise with the disguise that you're given. And the dead man. Um, no. Nope. You can't go Eternal Ward and Bendringer. That's my can't. that's my that's my spy rule. You have to be able to disguise it will or you have to be able to cloak it will. And I if take you away can't, both. If you if you take away both, it doesn't work. It does for me. I should make some videos. It doesn't work own. as effectively. If I'm saying there you finally go. get that stab on that This is an excellent round you're having. You're just killing them all. Anyway, it, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying Eternal Reward and Dead Ringer can't work together. I'm saying together it, it doesn't work as well as it could. This is a great spy moment. I see, the, I hear and see the heavy. This guy's his medic. Take out my medigun. Get the stab. Got it. You've had an excellent life right here at the end. This has been beautiful. Just harassing them. Probably yeah. just stay out of sight, but you know. Sometimes they're, they're already dead. Mission begins in 60 seconds. One more round. Yep, this is the the very final round. Uh, Rainbow Raiders got a cap in 513. They got a cap C in 513 or less okay. to win. Midnight Crew's got to defend in 513. Let's see if it can happen. Don't spoil it for me. I'm not gonna spoil it because to this is a really match. good match. To win, to win. We uh we lost one at the beginning, then we won one. So this is the third tiebreaker. Okay. If if we lose this, then we lose the UGC match as a whole. If we win, we win everything. All of it. This is a, this is a this is a pretty dumb move because I already went for a fail stab on the medic. It would be even dumber if I had uh, stabbed the medic because you know now they know. What's, what's that about there could uh, be what's about to happen right here? Well, you'll see, but it's just a dumb idea because this is where I was before. It's a terrible thing to be a predictable spy. I'm trying to go for the stab, and it's just a soldier knowing I was there. And I just get the fuck out of dodge. That's another great spy quality, is to be able to realize when you, when, you, when you should stay and try to be convincing, and when you should just get the fuck out of there and run when for your you life. Can. When you can. Sometimes running away is just suicide, and you have to stay and take the chance, because, you know, it's like guessing on a question from the SEC, you might as well guess. But nah, dude. I pride myself on my ability, ability to cloak and get away. Unless there's heavies or pyros, then you just be like, well, I'm fucked. Yeah, then you just have to try. You just have to guess the question. Heavies are just the worst spy checkers to weather. It's it's it, it's it goes pyros and then heavies because by the time heavies are done spy checking you, you have ten health left. You either have ten health left or you're dead. But if you do have ten health left, they believe you wholeheartedly. Sometimes, most times. Got him. That's what you get. That's what you get for trying to kill my scout. <laughs> that scout's your homie. The the other day I had a match where I did whether a heavy spy check and he and he believed me, and then I was like, "Derp, I'm believable now." And then I was and then I tried to, like, I, I, when I say I tried to go for a sap on an NG stuff, I don't mean I was being obvious about it. I took my sweet time getting over to that that <laughs> NG nest, and the heavy still did a double spy check and killed me. Aww. So it it doesn't work all the time. That's just the sometimes fact. they're paranoid. It's just a fact of spy. It doesn't work all the time. It's a fact of spy that sometimes there's nothing you can do when you are screwed. There's an element of luck in play. They're making them think I went one way and then go another. It's a good cloak strategy. Yeah, I was saying something about spy earlier. When I was saying, you know, about fooling people, what we just, what we were just talking about, what were we just talking about? Heavy spy oh, checking and stuff. Heavy spy checking. Yes. I swear, I had something cool to say. You were gonna be like, "You're so cool, Chuckles, with your words." That's a great. And then um, I would have taken off my shirt and showed you my. Boobs. There, that that is classic, comma. A good sticky trap, and then and. He was uh, up in the ceiling. Jumping up in the rafters. <laughs> yeah. He was like that's. 
I, I, don't, I don't actually sticky jump up to the raptors, I just put stickies on the door. And oh, this is ridiculous. They've, they've got B and 2 minutes and, and 30 seconds to cap. I do not know how we lost B because I was over on A. Now this is bad because A is hard to defend. They're going to take A already and then you're going to have to hold off C for 2 minutes, which is not as easy they got, as they got B. Four people on, they got 4 people on A and it's about 5 people on A and 6 people on A and it's about a half cap. This is not looking good for the Midnight Crew, I gotta say. But here comes the Demo Man to the rescue. Is that Hamba? That's Hamba. Hamba's, Hamba's a manimal. I rage quit the other day because he was just killing me so bad. Look at that. And the soldier, soldier and Pyro double team. I get a uh, good stab. I, I get a, I get a good stab pyro. on a class that could have been trouble. They got two people on the point. I don't know who. Oh, it, it was a demo with a pain train. It was a with a pain train. It was a demo oh. with a pain train. That ain't cool. You guys should have had that. You earned it. You earned keeping that point. And then they look at that. They almost they almost scout cap C. Look at that. That's terrible. That was a, a, just too close. That was too close for comfort. There you go. That was a bit of an NG mistake trying to jump over your sentry and then getting killed by Fa. Ooh, you go for it. You go for it. I got it even though I did. Oh, this is just terrible. We we try to take out the medic and he won't die, even though I shoot him a few times. He's got the bloodsuckers. What happens? Bloodsuckers OP. Hate that. And thing. then I and then I kind of stupidly uncloak and in sight instead of going around the corner to try and get a, a sniper stab. Oh no, here's the syringe gun. How did his health go so far up then? There was no medkits around. I don't know, man. Just uh, there's <laughs> Scooty going rainbow. Why is it every time I spectate Scooty, he's either um. Going for ammo or health at spawn or going Rambo with his kukri. <laughs> Cutting people up. Alright, you got 40 See? seconds. It's looking, it's looking yeah. better for the night crew now. It, oh, it's there's... looking better, but they, they got four people on the point. They got a heavy medic coming up the, the tower. And I. Really? Good work on nice, the heavy, but nice. we got a demo blowing up people on the point. We got 25 oh, seconds left. 25 oh, seconds left and they cap. This is gonna be close. That's what happened. Oh, they cap. Got it. Got it. Yep. It's too bad. It was a very close game. Oh, um, that's too bad. It's too bad, but at, at the same time, this was probably the most fun I had playing UGC. Because yeah, it was so uh, it started off kinda You started off kind of rusty, but then in, that, in those last couple matches, you were doing some great spy. We were distracted talking about other things, but you were playing some it's great spy. Well, that's crazy you know, stabs. That's just a thing that happens. Talk about random things. All right. Well, do you have any any post match? That's the video. Do you have any post match comments uh, on Highlander and or Gravel Pit? Um, I'm jealous. Um, that playing a league like that because I I love Comp TF2, but I missed my chance to sign up for other leagues because I was in China. So. Well, you're you are on the Midnight Crew roster now. So, players played Medic for us in on Sawmill. Did I do a good job? I don't even know. <laughs> um, I assume you did. I don't. Don't ask me. I play spy. If I That's see, a good point. If, if I see the kind of job you're doing, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> and also, um, I, I think everybody did a more. good job in that game. We won Sawmill, so that was pretty cool. Um, for, well, for one thing, I don't think anybody did do their job. The other team that. Is what bad. if they're watching? What? No. What if they're watching? <laughs> the the. Well, the I'll other be honest, team. You guys were pretty bad if if you were watching. No, they weren't bad. We were just we were on the ball. On that we were day. we were on the ball. We did some we did some good organization. Alec Trevelyan even obeyed my commands a little bit sometimes when he felt like it. So it's better than usual. He's a decent enemy though, so you can he can do what he wants. Heavy, but he's got a bad habit of disobeying his medic, which is a bad thing to do in high Let's talk about Alec behind his back. Yeah, I am gonna talk and about then post, Alec behind his and back. And then post it on YouTube. Because he makes me rage because I play medic and then he doesn't do what I say. Oh. He's shaking my fist at him. All right. Well, yes, that he is, was he is a good heavy. I admit that. That was that was gravel pit UGC match. One of the best. One of the better. No, just the best. It was the best midnight crew match. The best. Even it was, the ones. It was the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna keep it down. <sighs> I think I might leave now. If you're gonna do that, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do that well, again, we're leaving anyway. Um, that was the UGC match that we commentated. I hope you, I love you. enjoyed I love watching you. it. I love you, guys. I love you. I I'm you. fond of you slightly as well. <laughs>
All right. Well, thanks for watching.